Hello, and welcome to the DEX Imaging Help Desk video walkthrough for installing Konica Minolta drivers on Mac. Before we begin, you'll need to know what version of Mac OS you are running. To find this, click the Apple logo in the top left corner of your screen, then select About this Mac. The Mac OS version being used will be displayed in the window that pops up. We'll also need the IP address of the printer to be installed. If you do not know this, you can find it on the printer's panel. From the home screen, select Utility. Then select Device Information. The IPv4 address listed on the information screen is what we will use to install the printer. Once you've got all the requisite information, open up a web browser. We're using Safari in our example, but you can use Chrome, Firefox, or whichever browser you prefer. Navigate to www.deximaging.com slash service. On the Dex Imaging Service site, select Resources, then click Konica Downloads to visit the Konica Product Support site. In the quick search box on the left, enter the model of your printer. In our example, we're using a BizHub C250i, but make sure you type the appropriate model for your printer. Select the auto-completed result below your search to go to the Product Downloads page. Select Drivers. Scroll down and locate the section for the Mac OS version your computer is running. Occasionally, if you are on the latest release version, there may not yet be a section for that version. In that case, select the latest available version. Locate and click on the latest zip file for the driver to download it. Please note, some older models may have driver versions that end in a 4 and letter. In that case, select the letter version. Once the download is complete, locate it in your browser's downloads section or in your downloads folder in Finder and open it. In this instance, there are different driver versions based on whether we are using Mac OS 11 or above or version 10.14. Open the appropriate folder, then the letter version, if you didn't need to select letter when downloading. Open the package file to begin installation. In the installer, click continue three times then agree to the license agreement. In the bottom right corner, select Customize. Uncheck the two-sided default driver and check the one-sided default driver. Then click Install. You may be prompted to enter your computer's administrator password. Installation may take a few minutes. Once it is complete, you can allow the installer to move the installation files to the trash. Now that we've installed the driver, it's time to add the printer to our computer. Open the System Settings app, either by clicking the gear icon in your dock, or by clicking the Apple logo in the top left corner, then selecting System Settings. Navigate to Printers and Scanners. To add a new printer, on newer Mac OS versions, click Add Printer, Scanner, or Fax. On older Mac OS versions, You'll click the plus sign in the window beneath the list of any current printers. The following window may also look different, depending on Mac OS version. However, the order of icons should still be the same. We're going to select the middle icon at the top. These may be along the left side on some Mac OS versions. In the address field, type in the IPv4 address for your printer. Ensure the protocol is set to HP Jet Direct Socket. In the Name field, name the printer whatever you would like it to show as on your computer. Then, drop down the Use field and click Select Software. Type part of your printer's model into the search box and select the appropriate driver from the filtered list. Click OK when finished, then click Add. The installer should automatically detect any accessories on your machine. In some cases, however, it may fail to do so, so you can manually adjust the options for paper trays, finishers, punch units, and other accessories. Click OK after confirming everything to finish adding the printer to your computer. Now that we've added the printer to our computer, all that's left is to configure any desired presets and test printing. For our example, we've headed back to Safari. On particularly old Mac OS versions, however, you may need to use specific programs to configure presets as not all print options will show up in all programs. 
If you run into this issue, some examples of programs that should work include Microsoft Word, Adobe Acrobat Reader, and Firefox. Open the print dialog. In Microsoft Office programs, Adobe, or web browsers other than Safari, you may need to click an option along the lines of Printer Properties or Print Using System dialog in order to get the system print options like we see here. Under Printer Options, we can change print settings. In the Quality section, we'll find our color options. We recommend creating presets for black and white and color printing. Now we can easily switch between the two using the presets instead of having to scroll down and find the option. Go ahead and send a test page to the printer now to make sure everything is working properly. Thank you for watching the Dex Imaging Help Desk YouTube channel. Please like this video if you found it helpful. You can subscribe for more informational content to get the most out of your Dex Imaging copier.